William the Conqueror's sons had resolved their long feud over Normandy, with King Henry wresting possession away from his brother. But the French King Louis VI would not accept Henry's heir as the future Duke of Normandy. Henry's fragile power would face its first test, an invasion by the French King. Now we have to go up against the French, King Louis the Sixth. That is going to be quite the battle. The last mission felt like if you maybe forgot to bring in reinforcements, then you might get overwhelmed. So I'd be interested to see how it's balanced in this one. Welcome to the fifth mission, the Norman Campaign in Age of Empires IV. In the disputed countryside between Normandy and France, a smouldering farmstead gave away the beginnings of a French invasion. At the head of the vast army stood King Louis of France himself. An English scout hastily rode to inform King Henry of England who was still en route to defend his borders. Hearing of the threat, villagers and guards fled their English-held towns and retreated to the stronghold of Fleury. We have to hold Fleury until the king arrives. Above all, the English forces in Normandy had been commanded to hold the town of Fleury and await King Henry's arrival. Alright, let's just get everyone back then. Although it seems as though it may be worth trying to hold that further up somewhat. We'll get some villagers out. Yes, sir. Did you say yes? I'm thinking we potentially try and hold this as well. If we bring my forces further up. As the village of Crescentville fell, all it might be okay. Lay in holding Fleury for the king's arrival. Each timbre fails. Hester's commander on her effort. Let's get these on to gold here. What's that face? Yeah, yes, shoot him. We'll get him into the building there. Yeah, we are going to have to help defend these. Because they've killed my ones building the walls. I think we leave. <laughs> let's, uh, let's head back. <laughs> let's grab these and, and leave. I thought we might be able to tease it somewhat by <laughs> holding on to our ground there, but that ain't happening. Let's keep going with building more peasants. A lot of scouts, so we'll build some more spearmen. A lot of horsemen. <laughs> that poor guy is very dead. 
the town of Granville succumbed to the French, and the English were pushed back towards Fleury. We do have a large gold here, so losing that large gold isn't the end of the world. I think the main concern is just getting everybody back. Build a second wall. Not sure if that's actually worth doing, but we'll see. We'll get these onto wood. Let's do that. Don't have any on wood at the moment. I'm going to put down the palings because the horseman might decide to charge my archers. Henry and his forces made their arrival at Fleury. We have our reinforcements. Let's just uh, stop these being built. Get our wood back. And we just about held. Blimey. Knowing that King Louis himself was on the field, Henry saw his chance to put England's claim to Normandy beyond doubt. So time to move back and capture Bainville. All right, so that's going to be our objective for this one. Keep building more then. Some more spears in there. We'll get some more longbowmen. And we're going to need more houses. Gonna need plenty more wood, that's for sure. And we can buy some wood. And I can make some of these start building farms. I should do it around a mill, really, because the mills give a bonus. That's six farms. I'm not sure how many men we're actually going to need, so we'll start heading up this way already with the forces that we have. With the bonus from our king here, we should be able to win the majority of fights. We can continue growing our economy in the meantime. King Louis 
determined to oust the English from Normandy, began sending attack parties to harass King Henry and his forces. We're going to have to watch out for those. That's for sure. Probably want to get Wheelbarrow because this is quite far away. I could build one closer. Do I have a blacksmith? I do. Alright, let's get the siege equipment just in case we need it. We'll get the upgrades there as well. I'm going to build an arsenal so we can upgrade our archers. That's going to be pretty important. Uh, let's get past these and go for the archers with the knights. Good. Gonna keep sending groups up here. We dealt with them quite well, though. Very nice. Push the French out of Brainville. Bad. And we actually have walls kind of already built here now. King Henry's men struck at the French forces and recaptured the town. They call that leftover goal. Thank you very much. Alright, we shall put them onto the food. Very good. I'm going to send some villages up here onto the gold. And we've maxed out now on population, so that's very good as well. So let's just build into that so that we have everything we need. King Louis is counter-attacking. Oh wow, that's a sizable army, huh? <laughs> We're gonna need a lot of spears to get through that. Can I, in fact, go to the Third Age? I think I can. So we might just have to do that, get our spearmen upgraded. I'm gonna keep my knights at the back. Right, let's grab all of these. I'm going to pop this down here. That acts as a town center, so we'll just use it to collect stone. Let's get my knights to go and hit their archers. Oh, 
and we'll make sure to take down the old battering ram. Brilliant. Uh, what I might actually do here is get these to get some stone going because then we can build a keep. Lovely. I'm going to upgrade my soldiers. We need lots more gold actually to do that. Get the spearman upgrade. That's pretty important. I am just going to build a mining camp closer here. And at the mill, we should also probably get the horticulture technology. And I still need to be building more villages. Do that. We can also get crossbowmen now, actually. We should definitely grab a few crossbowmen for all of these knights. And loads of gold is needed. Need more gold, my lord. Seems as though there is a gap here we need to cover. Go back to doing your work. So we'll get the Man at Arms upgrade as well. Found ourselves some gold. And there is a building over here. Cheeky stables. Hmm. Okay. How am I going to deal with that? We'll just send my Man at Arms. So I'm going to build some horsemen since we have plenty of food, we have plenty of wood. We can build loads of longbowmen because we have, again, plenty of food and wood. Uh, but I do definitely want some more crossbowmen eventually. We're going to want more spears. I'm going to build a monastery so we can get ourselves a couple priests to heal up our dudes. I should also probably invest in some men at arms. Since we have a very low number of them. They're just good for taking out enemies. Spears. I guess we do have our archers for that. I will get the silk bowstrings. That is very nice indeed. And we should probably get incendiary ammos as well. The other thing I want to do up here is build a siege workshop. Uh, we don't need as much stone anymore, so we'll just take these off stone. Put them onto gold instead. We don't need that much of economy, I don't think, in these campaign missions just yet, so I don't think we need any more villagers. Like that many more, anyway. Another one over here? They just got stables everywhere. Springolds. Springolds are actually going to be very useful against knights because they have a decent amount of armor piercing, I believe. Oh, 
Excellente. Periente Hestes Nu. And sweet, sir, yes. Hestes for this reader. Uh. Let's get the increased healing rate. I'm going to save up for the incendiary ammo, and then when we start to use that technology, we will probably head forwards, because I'm pretty sure we're almost maxed out elsewhere. I am going to want to pick up these upgrades as well. We can probably start moving up. Go and capture this village. They just sent a unit the whole way around. Okay then. I'm going to grab one of these. We will just wall this off. I'll keep a small force here, I, I guess, because it seems like they are sending some scouts to harass us still. I could always, like, just build a keep, I guess. Might as well. We've got plenty of stone. Uh, let's take my knights out of here. I'm going to just allow my monks to heal them up because they really do need healing quite a lot. We'll get the horsemen to go deal with the archers at the back there. Very good. I'll take that gold, thank you. And we'll use it to get our technology. With the border towns recaptured, King Henry's claim to Normandy faced only one more obstacle. King Louis and his army. In the humble peasants' fields of Bremule, two kings would settle their claim to Normandy. It's a lumber camp. Grab that gold. Thank you. All our knights are healed up. So let's go and face off against the enemy army over here. We are maxed out on our population cap. I'm just going to put them at the front. Oh, it looks like they get they disappear. Oh, let's actually have those go destroy that stable. I think that's where the scouts keep coming from. need to wait for my ability because attacking this big army is going to be quite something. We don't need these onward, we'll just put them on food. Okay. Where are my monks? I need them to 
keep healing. It looks like all of these are healed, so we don't need to use their bonfire. Any other techs that we can grab? Don't think so. Uh, armor clads. Increase the range and melee armor of menace arms. That'll do. Don't have many menace arms, though. Heal up, people. Go, monks, go. Where are my knights? Most of them have died already. And looks like we're getting pretty low on men, but oh, we got a big chunk of spearmen still. We're okay. Pick up. <laughs> Pick up out, dude. <laughs> he went down. Nobody saw that. <laughs> right, we need to take out Bing Louie. Oh, never mind. That's all we needed to do. Far from home, but rallied by their king, the English army forced a French surrender and put King Louis and his knights to flight. With the impromptu battle ending in resounding victory for the English, King Henry had secured his ancestral lands under the English crown. Normandy is ours. Glorious victory. That was a fun one. You know, being forced to, you know, lose some ground before you take it back. I was curious if I could maybe set up a little bit of a defense to maybe not completely lose all of that ground early on. Uh, but it seems like that's kind of the point of the of the mission. So <laughs> I couldn't stop the tide of horsemen. Uh, but that was a fun battle. King Henry I claimed a decisive victory in the impromptu skirmish, defeating the French king and securing control of Normandy. Really, really good fun. Uh, I very much enjoyed this campaign and... Uh, Hopefully you guys are as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next mission. Goodbye.